All right, so we are here with a Hardware 3 on the Tesla Model 3. And we are trying the self-driving thing, okay? We have attention monitoring working. So this is good, but um, I had it on a drive that it um, told me that it is not possible because it's too dark in the vehicle. So I don't know why it's not too dark right now. Uh, attention monitoring, I will low carbon illumination. There, I got this now. And now it wants me to touch the steering wheel. So now I got the message. And, uh, yeah. That's the message we want to see, avoid, or work with. Now turn right to stay on Oakland Drive. Oh, we don't. Very interesting here, the moon is out full speed, like full moon, like extremely nice moon. Now here? turn right. So we want to do two things now. In 500 feet, turn left onto West Campus Drive. Oh, we're going to stop here for a second. And then we go in here to uh, Autopilot. And there is this thing, Automatic Set Speed Offset. We want to turn that off. Okay. That. And... What else? So I have this here. This is a, an infrared light. You can see here now infrared light. And that should help the cabin illumination when it's too dark. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try this again now. Um, we're driving back a little bit. Now turn right onto To Oakland drive Drive. The same area again, the same stretch of road where we got this message that the cabin illumination is not good enough. And then we want to see if it happens again. Now turn left to stay on Oakland Drive. The infrared, oh, it's unpaved even. Oh, nice. Look at that. Unpaved road. So. Now turn left onto Bernadine Drive. Okay. Let's hope it doesn't drive into a ravine. It's super slow. Very good. And um, in 500 feet, go right on to Brittany Drive. I would love to see how the cabin camera can see this now in the dark. For that, we would have to. Oh, garbage can. Coverage bags. Oh, it's now driving around it. Wow, time. that was close. It almost ran into those garbage bags. Recycling, you know? Yard waste recycling bags. In That's 500 feet, turn left onto Farmington Road. Bright lights. Whoa. Now turn left onto Farmington Road. We have a red light. We road. hope we don't run it. It still has bright lights on. Why does it do that? It should not have them on waiting in the intersection. I mean, it's crazy. You have to wait for the light. We hope the car is forward enough to trigger the light. And maybe I can manually turn off the... Uh, uh, yeah, I did. So I was able to manually turn off the bright lights. Oh, the light is switching for the cross traffic on to red. It's um, green for turns. Okay. I have to get my camera over here. 
Now we have a green, but I bet the car in front there is allowed to go. It is. Okay. So this was the area where the attention monitoring didn't work. Oh, he's taking a left here. Whoa. Look at that. We're going to go here. Okay. All good and fine. a red light and we see if it stops or not. It's going 42 miles an hour. Ah, it stops. Okay. There you go. Looking good. I can't wait to see if it will take the right lane or the left lane. All right. It's going on the left lane. And another thing what I would like to try now is why we're here. I'm going to try to put in my, on my sunglasses. I know it's night, but I want to see if the infrared thing is able to handle sunglasses. So I just put my sunglasses on. And sometimes um, sunglasses are... It's green and it doesn't drive. In so feet, sometimes right. attention monitoring unavailable sunglass use detected. There we see this. Okay. So now I have to touch the thing. So you can't wear right. sunglasses at night. It detects that too. Okay. Now usually you wouldn't wear sunglasses at night anyway. So here it will do a weird thing. It will try to hit the boulders. It's panicking here on the boulders. Now your destination is on the left. And that was a destination reached. Okay, so that is concluding our drive here and uh, confirming that the infrared additional light here is going to help. This. We're getting attacked by a spider. All right. So we see now that driving at night with hardware 3 and the simple model 3, where there is no infrared lights at the cabin camera, that adding infrared lights here by the display, for example, that uh, that helps the situation drastically. So there's no more um, attention monitoring not possible because of the light conditions. So that went away by using this little light here. You can see this in the camera here, how the infrared is on there. 